Okay, guys, so Paul Bates here, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We sure appreciate it. Anyway, this week's video, we're going to talk about uh, a couple different projects we got going on, getting this boat ready for the leap, getting this heap ready for the loop, and a lot of emotion involved in it. So I want to do a little uh, the video today. We'll talk about a few things, because I've had a few people ask me this, and uh, it's interesting because uh, Internet is a weird thing. It's like when you want it, it's, there's, there's no good service. So this is what I do, and, and this is what I've been doing so far. And do I like it? No, it's very slow and irritating. But I'm learning to work with it, and I know its limitations, and I know what I can do with it. And it has been keeping up. So, I mean, if it was, if it was what I, all I had, I'd be all right. I guess, you know, I, I would be okay. So this week's projects, though, and what I have, let's just talk about that real quick, is I have one, my, my um, cell phone. It's on AT&T and I use it as a hotspot. Then I have a, a Verizon phone and we use that as a hotspot. But our main workhorse is a Moxie uh, on the Cricut network. And, you know, it's slow, but yes, we can do one thing at a time with it. And it seems to work okay. I wouldn't give it any stars or thumbs up or anything like that. And I probably wouldn't do it again. And I also want to switch out the, the, the Moxie to a Nighthawk. And I'll probably do that before we leave. But that's, that, that's my internet for now, and it has been working. So, another uh, projects that we've been uh, working on this week, getting this boat ready for the loop, especially getting one of these old 40-foot uh, boats, you know, 35, 40-foot boats, ready for the loop. It's been a lot of work. A lot of emotions go on, and, you know, I, I'm getting older, you know, and if I don't go do this, I'm not going to do it. So, getting the boat ready is all we've been concentrating on. Uh, Bev's work, working just a little bit. She's helping out her family a little bit. Um, but she, this weekend, got a lot of sewing done. We got our sewing machine back. It, it, it had to go into the shop for repairs, so we got that back. And then we've uh, been sewing all the curtains all the way around here. And then we're going to work on Daisy's deck next, uh, the back deck, and then the hatch covers. We're also going to change all the canvas color over to black. And a little update on the, the top. They keep coming up with excuses. Uh, it did not ship this week. It was supposed to ship this week, but we'll see what happens with it. Uh, the top, uh, the hard top should be here, I would guess, you know, sometime after the first of the year. That's going to be one of the bigger projects. And then another big project that I've been working on this weekend, and I picked up 150 feet of uh, C4 uh, chain uh, for the anchor locker, but I've also been work working on the anchor locker all week last week and replacing all the boards I had to go in there and hand chisel out every little piece of wood uh, and 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 all that and it's just something I had to do so I did it um, and that's one of the big projects I've been working on I'm hopefully I can get that project finished I don't think I can get it finished this week but maybe next week I can get that by the end of next week and then the next big project is getting the inverter mounted and I'll explain that to you when I get to it but those are my two big projects for last week. I really got started on the anchor locker here, and I'll show you a couple pictures of what I got going on here. When the boat was originally designed, it did not have any drain for the water coming into the anchor locker. Uh, so I've, I've, I've fixed that, and I put a new bottom plate in there, and I put a drain on it. Uh, I can show you the pictures here. And then uh, I'll seal all that off, and then once I get it all sealed off, I'm ready to put the new chain in there. Um, so that's what I, that's what I did. To it, I, I put the drain in here, and I put a, I'll, I'll put I put a new board in there to connect in there. I screwed it into the uh, into the boat, and then I'll I'll, I'll, call, I'll glue it into the boat too. And then I'm going to use my epoxy. I have some epoxy left over from the bottom paint, and I'm going to epoxy the whole inside of it to keep it uh, to moisture for the moisture and stuff like that. So it's a big project. I knew I had to do it when I bought the boat, uh, and I'd get it knocked out, um, and that's something I can do. Another thing, I was talking to another person uh, yesterday, and they were saying, "Man, it's just, just it seems like overwhelming all, all this stuff, and you got to be pretty diversified in all of it, and be able to, you know, work with metals and woods and engines and stuff like that." So, anyway, we are speaking of the engines. We are on the list uh, with uh, one of the more reputable uh, shops here in uh, the Gulf Shores to get our engines worked on and I, and I don't need any necessarily work on them but we're gonna get the uh, the transmission coolers changed and at the same time they'll just uh, listen to the engines and make sure that I don't need to adjust the valves or anything like that 
and then we're going to get the alternators rebuilt in the engines. Um, and those are the two big ticket items to finish off the engine room and uh, get get those up to par. And we don't know what he's going to say about the engines, you know what I'm saying. I had uh, oil samples done on them and stuff like that, but I didn't have a professional mechanic come out and look at the engines and say, hey, uh, they're all good to go. So that's kind of what these guys are going to do. They're just going to make sure that they don't need any valve adjustments on them and stuff like that. Um, and I hope they don't need um, much work, but if they do, you know, well, I have to take care of it. I'm also uh, starting to uh, free up some cash so that we can, uh, at the, after the first year, I can uh, re tap into that to get this trip going. You know, we're ready. Uh, right now, our planned leave date is somewhere right there that first or second week in February. Uh, we'll see uh, as it gets closer here uh, if we can get a lot of these projects. And we don't need to get every single project done. We can work our way, you know, around and get out of here and get to a little bit warmer weather, you know, finish off uh, the season. And that's what we may do. Um, I, but I need, like, the hard tops got to be mounted. Uh, my batteries have got to be mounted. We're waiting right now for our lithium-ion phosphate battery to show up. It, it's probably still another couple weeks out. Uh, I, I tracked the shipping on it. Um, the, over the weekend, and they said it's uh, it's on the ship. It's in it's in port. They're just waiting to get it unloaded and get it to the FedEx office and go through customs and stuff like that. So once that gets here, I can get the inverter finish in mounting the inverter. I plan on starting on the inverter probably this week. I'll probably start mounting the inverter. It's going to be a little bit of a process because there's a lot to involve in uh, wiring one of those things in. Because I'm going to tap into the phosphate or the the lithium ion uh, Life Pro batteries. And I'm also going to tap into my uh, batteries for the engine. And I have to charge them separately. So there's a lot going on with that, that particular system. And Keith will get involved with that and help me with the wiring on that. So Keith is always a big helper with the channel, thank God. And he's a pretty smart guy when it comes to stuff like that. And I'll keep you guys posted on what we're doing. Anyway, this is just my weekly update. I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, you know, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas this weekend. Or this week, uh, Friday, uh, and we will uh, just keep working on the boat. Basically, that's going to be our Christmas presents to each other. Is just keep working and get this thing ready to go. And uh, we're, we're, I think we're both getting very excited to leave. So, anyway, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. We appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.